you shall not pass. Not without watching this video first. I'm gonna show you how you can use expressions to make your After Effects life so much easier. And don't worry, you'll find a document in the description down below with all the expressions from this video. First one is the most obvious one, the wiggle expression. Well, it makes your subject wiggle and completely random. For instance, let's give this simple ball the wiggle expression on the position value. I alt click on the stopwatch and in the prompt box, I type wiggle. After Effects already knows what I'm trying to do and will suggest the wiggle expression. Now I can input two values between the brackets. The first one is the frequency, in other words how many times the wiggle will happen. The second value is the amplitude value, again in other words how much or how far the ball is going to move. For example, the left ball has a wiggle frequency of 1 and an amplitude of 50. The right ball is the other way around, a frequency of 50 and amplitude of 1. It's easy to see the difference. Now what if you want to animate the wiggle expression, making it go in or out? A tool I like to use is the slide slider tool. I just add two sliders to my layer and instead of adding numerical values, I parent the slider value with the pick whip tool. This way I can animate both values by moving the sliders up and down. It's as easy as that. However, we're not done with the wiggle expression. You can also use it for one dimension, making it only go up and down or left and right. The expression will look a little bit different and harder to understand, but again, you don't need to learn it by heart. Just copy and paste it from our document. Just like the expression to loop your wiggle motion, open up our documents. Control C, Control V and boom a looping wiggle. What more do you want? Oh I know what you want. You want a bounce expression. And this is actually a quite difficult expression to understand. And I'm going to be honest it's gibberish to me. But I just know it can make my motion design so much better. Just add the expression to the scale or position property and voila instantly better. Now of course you can fine tune the bounce by increasing or decreasing the amplitude, frequency or decay. You can play around with these values inside the expression to get the look that you want. But what if you want to create a timer, a digital clock counting up or down? Well, easy, we just have to create a text layer without any text. Then I will look for the source text property, again I alt click on the stopwatch and just paste my expression, creating a clock and making it count up. But how can I make it count down? Well simply pre-compose the layer and time reverse the new pre-comp. And if you want to adjust the length of the countdown, just adjust the length of the compositions. However, what if you want a more simple counter, just one number counting up? Or down. Well, that's a super simple expression. Again, I need a text layer and again I will use expression on the source text. Now, do you remember the technique with the slider? Well, for this I'm going to do the same. My slider will be my value which I can then easily animate. Now, this counter can actually be done without an extra expression, only linking the slider would also work. But I'm not a fan of the decimals and that's why I'm using the matter round expression, removing those decimals. Okay, I already showed you how to make your animations cooler with adding a bounce to it, but we can also add a squash and stretch to the mix, really giving it that something extra. This expression just needs to be added to the scale property, and again it's perfectly adjustable to your likings. Just play around with the maximum deviation, the speed and decay. And last but not least, did you know you can create a motion trail just like this animation with a simple expression? Well now you do and you will never forget it. One part of the expression is added to the position property and one to the opacity property. Fine tune if you need it. And Voila! You are now a better motion designer than before you started watching. Now as a bonus I added a super handy extra expression to the document in the description below. Check the video here on my left if you can get enough from learning everything there is to know about After Effects. Thank you so much for watching, see you next time.